Thank you guys so much for coming today. This is such a great day for Greenwood, great day for the residents of Greenwood, and it's just a great day. I mean, it's crappy outside, but it really is a good day today. Uh, my name is Monica Kelsey. I'm the founder and CEO of Safe Haven Baby Boxes, the only organization in America today that is saving babies at fire stations and hospitals uh, in multiple states around this country. Uh, this is box number 25 for us. I'm super excited about that. 21st box in the state of Indiana, or 21 boxes in the state of Indiana. Um, and uh, uh, we're just so blessed. Uh, we've had 68 women come through our program um, where they either chose the safe haven baby box or they chose to surrender by handing the child to a person. Um, so we're very blessed uh, with, with the program that we've put together. Um, tell you a little bit of uh, history about myself. Uh, I just retired last July as a medic and a firefighter. Um, that was the greatest job I've ever had in my life until I started this. And now this is one of the greatest jobs that I've ever had. Um, I, I have a special treat for you guys today. And uh, we did not announce this, so this is, this is gonna be something that you guys um, uh, get to see the fruits of our labor. And um, November 7th of 2017, I got a call uh, about 11 o'clock at night that there was a baby placed in the Cold Springs Fire Department baby box in Michigan City, Indiana. This was the very first baby in America saved at a fire station baby box. And she's here today to meet all of you. I'm, I'm gonna let her mom, her adoptive mom, come up and, and say a few words. And, uh, and Grace, come up. Uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is Misty uh, and Phil, and then uh, this is Baby Hope. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm a little nervous, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, Safe Haven Baby Boxes has changed our lives forever. <clears throat> Holding this little girl in our arms is one of the greatest blessings we've ever received. We thank God every day that her birth mother made the decision to put her in the baby box in Michigan City, Indiana. Without these fire stations and safe haven laws, babies like Grace end up in terrible places, which is part of the reason we ended up in here today. We had the same story of infertility and failed adoptions like so many others have had, but we finally made the decision to be foster parents because we thought God was calling us to do that and because we were tired of seeing children and babies abandoned or killed in the, on the news. We thought if we can't bring a child into this world ourselves, then we will care for one we are, that was already here. Days after completing our training, we got a call about taking in a one-month-old baby boy born into addiction. We didn't hesitate a breath before saying yes. Three months later, our case manager put our names into the mix for a safe haven baby. We didn't even really know what that meant. <laughs> but we got a call from LaPorte County a few days later, and we went up there for the interview. We were thinking, well, it's not going to happen for us. We don't have that kind of luck, and we already have this beautiful boy in our homes. We just felt blessed as it was. But a week later, we did get a call, and a few days later, she was brought to our home. On May 24, 2017, we officially adopted her. We now have two two-year-olds in our home, <laughs> and we just got a puppy. <laughs> oh, and then I fell down the stairs and broke my leg. How much fun. <laughs> Safe Haven Baby Boxes has changed our lives, but has also changed hers, and that's the most important part. She has two loving parents, a brother that adores her, a nice home, and a loving extended family that is crazy about her. Safe Haven Baby Boxes gives these kids a chance at a good life that they may not have had otherwise. We appreciate the work that Monica does and applaud the men and women who help make these boxes a reality. We try to support the cause and the fire stations any way we can. You wanna talk? Last summer, we visited the actual box that she was placed in and, and visited the firehouse and the men that saved her. And then uh, over the fall, we went to the Carmel Firehouse as well to see them and, and meet their uh, chief and their fire see their fire firehouse and baby box. So it's only fitting that we're here today because this is our county. We live in Franklin. We've lived in Johnson County our whole lives. And so she's here today to meet everybody and to see the box and have a good time. Thank you. God bless you guys. <laughs> 
So now you got a little piece of what we fight so hard for, and boy, is she beautiful. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Chief Pell. He is the fire chief here at White River Township. Thank you, Monica. Wow. I am so incredibly humbled that God is working in our department, our community, to use us for uh, something as big as this. This is going to be such a wonderful addition to our community. Um, you know, we got in the business of saving lives. And there are 36,000 people here that look to us to serve them, to protect them, and to ultimately save a life. And I think what hits me in the heart so, so strongly is that this is going to save a life. And we hope that no one in our world would be in this crisis. It's our prayer that they wouldn't be in our crisis, but we know it happens. And when it happens, this is gonna be a safe place. This is gonna be a place where um, a mother knows that she can put her child and it will be cared for and loved and brought up and God will have just great things planned for whatever child ends up in, in our hands. And even if that's not the case, just the fact of being here and having the publicity and getting the word out that there are people in this world that care about mothers and fathers and babies that need people to support them is absolutely priceless. In my mind, this is what public safety and public service looks like. And the other thing that I want you to know is I want each and every one of you to know that you have a hand in saving a life. The Knights of Columbus did just a ton of work for us to bring people together and say, we need some money to fund this thing because this is special. And they did it. They raised it in, within a week. They raised every single penny for this box. We've had current and past board members that have given us just complete support on this. Uh, elected officials here, the men and women at the department, again, have been fully behind it. And they recognize the responsibility we have as public safety officers that we could end up taking care of a baby one day. And, and I want to make sure they understand the important role they have and how appreciative we are. And not to leave out Monica and her group because without it, it, it doesn't happen. Um, so, you know, top to bottom, I want each and every person that participated, whether I mentioned you or not, to grasp the fact that you will have a positive impact on somebody's life. And none of us can do it alone, but together we did this, and I am 100% confident that in some form, whether it's reaching, ministering to, to a young mom or actually embracing a baby, it will make a difference. And you are part of that, and you've got my utmost gratitude. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Monica. Monica. A glorious day. I hope you all are so just feel the gratitude in your hearts of how special it is that you just witnessed something so sacred. I'm founder of He Knows Your Name Ministries and I celebrate that baby hope is a child of God but each and every one of you are a child of God and I want to say boldly that I support Safe Haven Baby Box as a life-saving option for babies at risk. I am so thankful for this community, for advocating for mothers and babies in this community. And all the communities that have a safe haven baby box, we're making up a state 
full of communities that are advocating for babies and mothers and fathers in crisis. The Bible says, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come for you. Jesus spoke those comforting words, and it's from that very heart of rescue that I support Safe Haven Baby Box as founder of He Knows Your Name Ministries. I think, honestly, that this is one of the most powerful initiatives that we have to decrease infant mortality in our state because our infant mortality rate is too high. Monica and I met at a baby funeral, a funeral for an abandoned baby five years ago this month. Community with support was huge when I had that funeral for that baby. A baby girl was found at Eagle Creek Park wearing a blue sweatshirt that said Vincennes University Aviation Department. That baby was found on December 28, 2014. That baby is the last baby that has been found in the state of Indiana. That is something to celebrate. Will you please celebrate that with me now? <laughs> That mother had a crisis pregnancy and she delivered that baby outside on a cold winter night, much like the day we're experiencing now. That fire station closest to that location was only two miles away. And that mother could have exercised her rights under the safe haven law and we don't know why she chose not to. But the tire tracks near the sighting of the baby's finding said that there was a mother there in a vehicle and she could have gone to a fire station. Every mother in crisis needs options and no fragile infant can be left outside on a cold winter night. And when she was found that morning and her sweatshirt said aviation department, I knew I would name her Amelia because her name means defender. And I believed then and I believe now that the legacy on her life is to defend the safe haven law. That is what we're here doing today. I am her voice and I carry her legacy. <clears throat> when I first carried her casket to the chapel, I realized it was actually heavier than I expected. And then my next thought was, well, yes, of course it is. Honor weighs a lot. I honor her today. I honor her footprint today that is on the logo of this box. It is a blessing to know that five years ago, she was found and given a name and honored, but she's been the last baby we've had to do that for. Amelia left behind her footprint. It is proof that she lived. She actually has something each and every one of us have here, and that's the unique stamp from the creator God himself, and it shows the world that she was here. Well, she definitely was here because her footprint is on this box. It's the legacy that raises awareness and educates communities about the safe haven law, the safe haven baby box. Her name gives purpose to her life, and it says every life matters. This box, box number 25, is just a miracle. Baby Hope is a miracle. I want to congratulate Monica on this massive accomplishment to be box 25. And I'm telling you, there's 25 more coming at a very rapid rate. Every mother who chooses to anonymously surrender her baby in a safe haven baby box will see that footprint. Every heroic mother will have to use her own feet to carry herself to her safe haven baby box and her baby to safety. Every baby that comes in this box will be given a future, this mother's choosing adoption, and it's a final step towards safety. Medical care and name, love from a forever family, which we just saw today, is waiting in that box for that baby. The Safe Haven Baby Box is a birthday party and an adoption party waiting to happen. Thank you very much.
Linda, I know you travel the country and bury these precious babies, but my job is to put you out of business. <laughs> Just let me know right now. You're going to retire very soon. Uh, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, Pastor, let's go ahead and bless this box. Does baby Colt want to come up and put her hand on this box with us as we bless number 25? Is she running somewhere? <laughs> we can't keep up with a two-year-old at our age, so... All right, Pastor, let's bless this box. She's coming. She's coming. All right. Come on, sweetheart. Put your finger. God, you are a refuge and our strength. You are our maker. On every single human being, you you gave them your image, your DNA, our DNA, your heart, our heart. And your heart is to redeem, your heart is to save. And so, Lord, we pray that you would create in us a heart that is like your heart. We seek your blessing on this box. We ask that your Holy Spirit anoint this station and all those who will provide care. That for whomever they give care, those people will know your glory and the light of your hope. We pray that those who give care will feel blessed that they are extending not just their own hands, but the very hands that made them hands of grace and mercy. Ultimately, our prayer is that this station, this community, would be a safe haven. A safe haven for those in need of help as you, God, are an ever-present help for those in need. Amen. All right, Greenwood. This box is now available for women in this community. This box behind me offers no shame, no blame, and no names. Thank you guys so much for coming. God bless you. We're going to be around to talk. Baby Hope's going to be here. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. God bless.